Hey guys, it's me again. I was working on my Logan again. Uh, I'm doing a few things to it. Today I decided to make some new felt strips. As you can see here are my old ones. They are extremely hard and they were still kind of working but they weren't working that well. Here is what I found to work good is uh, this is Sorry, this is a air compressor filter for uh, the pumps on an air compressor. I don't know if they they really don't use them anymore, but this is kind of an old school one. You buy them in little strips like this, little packs, or about a quarter inch thick felt. Not felt, but like wool. And what you can do is, let me set this down for a second. I cut a few of them here, and what worked really well for me is, here's my little piece that I'm going to cut. I take an extremely sharp wood chisel, which has worked. I've done three of them now and I'll do this one quick. It doesn't take very long. Um, I'm just using the corner. I, I have it. I had an old air compressor. I'm never going to use this again, so this works perfect for this. I'm um, just kind of line the corners up and then I'm going to cut maybe, I don't know, eighth inch long so push it down and it cuts right through it and then I'll turn it here and then I'll cut it along the top edge here and there we go there's a nice little piece that will fit in our little piece there so what um, I might just chop this little pointy end off here. Don't really need that. And then I got that hole there. So I gotta take care of that. And all I've been doing, I mean, if you got a little hole punch, that would be great. But if you just cut a little tiny notch out of there, you know, it's only an eighth of an inch wide. And I do did have a little, a little larger or sorry, a little smaller ch chisel here, but this works. Because that up top really doesn't matter there, so. There's our little piece that's been cut down. And it fits right in there. And then there we go, new wipers for the lathe. And then all I do is screw it on and oil it up. So I did that. That's the last one, I'll throw that on. And then lastly, today, I this lathe is down in my basement and I didn't want it splashing up all over the back there and I didn't really want to pardon my mess I didn't want to attach anything to this bottom drip pan here didn't want it well I didn't want to drill any holes into it so so what I ended up doing was I found there's a local place that sells kind of cutoffs and scraps of all types of metal, aluminum, stainless, you name it, they got it, AR500, but this is a little piece of stainless I found, and I got it for next to nothing, and it works extremely well. What I did here, I'll try and, because I got them bolted on there now, is I cut out these little aluminum brackets here. I got one there, and I got one over there, and what I did was, if it'll focus here. I tapped them for an 832 cap head screw. Same thing on that side. Sorry. I'm trying to find my camera here. Whatever. You can see it on this side, but so there's my little aluminum brackets. And what you could do to for the top here, I milled them, but you can this you could drill a hole and then cut it down with a hacksaw, and then this I just cut with a hacksaw. And then what you do is grab your little plate here and then it sticks in that side. Sorry, my lighting isn't the greatest. It'll stick in down there and come over here and it'll clamp in there. And then there you have a, I mean it's not it's not perfect, but um, it doesn't rattle when I got my lathe running, and it'll keep oil from splashing up all over the place. So that's a couple things I did here lately.
on my old Logan 922. If you like my videos, please like them. Uh, check out all my other videos. I got a bunch of other videos on random stuff, lathes, machining, gunsmithing, and subscribe. So, until next time, I'll see you later.